Please help me in welcoming Mr. Jimmy Wallace. Hi. Jimmy, hi. Hi. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks with for having me. With your very busy great. schedule. Yeah, I, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Excellent. It's yes, it's true. Uh, what was the initial motivation to create an album based on the Peanuts characters? Well, it kind of just kind of happened by accident, more or less. Um, over the years, people have, have given me um, like news clippings and cartoon um, uh, clippings of, of the, the Peanuts characters, and they're um, all over my house. So every time I, I come home, I'm reminded of that. And um, I was on tour with Gavin DeGraw. This was 2008, and um, we were really busy. And when I got home, um, I just felt the need to, to create, and uh, I saw it like a little plastic figurine of Schroeder. Mm -hmm. um, and playing his piano, and um, I was like, "Man, I wonder what that guy's thinking." <laughs> and because um, at some point you just you don't you get tired of writing about your own, you know, your own mess mm -hmm. in your head. And, mm -hmm. and um, so uh, that's what I did. I wrote a song about um, Schroeder, and I was like, "Wow, this is really cool." You know, yeah. I like it. This is fun. And I said, "Why, why not just do a whole record?" And I'm kind of the old. Um, album concept, mm -hmm. and that's what I did. And I just said, oh, I'm just going to, you know, see it through and and, uh, and do it. And, Excellent. Uh, and that's how it happened. Aww. I would imagine too, um, being a, at a at a young age playing the piano, that there was a, sort of a natural connection to the character of Schroeder. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when I grew up, it was we, uh, you know, three channels. So, <laughs> not to, but you know, it's that's in 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 the holidays and all the the. You know, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, whatever, you always saw the Charlie Brown special. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, I always identified with him because I, I started playing when I was seven. And, mm -hmm. and um, um, yeah, it was just kind of a, a, a something that Natural. I could identify with him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you come from a musical family? Not really. Um, my parents are, are, in, are school teachers. Hmm. And, um, I have uh, two older brothers, and I do have a uh, my middle brother is a guitar player. He's great, but um, we we sort of grew up playing together, but um, kind of went different paths. And, mm. and, um, um, so I, he he actually does play guitar for for a living now, but but it took him a while to sort of figure out that's what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of just knew. Yeah, from the know, get go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very I'm cool. Not any time. <laughs> So then, uh, from the initial idea and the song about Schroeder, how did that then become an entire album uh, about the Peanuts characters? Well, I, well, what I did was, after that song, you know, I kind of sat down and went, all right, well, this is cool, because it was an approach of writing that I've, I've never really done before. Um, and I did a, a little bit of research, you know, I didn't mm -hmm. go crazy with it, it was minimal <laughs> research, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. like writing a song here. It's a, and um, I tried to take the characters um, and make them identify, to, uh, so where I could identify with them, and, and, and musically too, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and it, after I got started, man, it just kind of flowed. It, it came, it came right out, you know. And it mm -hmm. was really kind of a good feeling, mm -hmm. you know. And I didn't overthink anything either. I was like, well, this is what it is. I'm not, you know, it's it's uh, it's supposed to be fun. And, and, yeah. And, and uh, it was, and, and still is. Yeah. Did you find it freeing to sort of step into the shoes of a character and write from that perspective as opposed to your own? I did. It was easier for me to do that than to sit inside, like I said earlier, in my own head mm -hmm. and write a song about what I'm going through. You know, mm -hmm. like, you know, my life's actually good. You know, I don't really, <laughs> yeah. Not, you know. Yeah. So um, that was fun for me. You know. Excellent. Uh, tell us a bit about the musicians that we can hear uh, in the oh, yeah. music and playing with you. Uh, on this record, it's uh, it's myself, uh, Nick Buda on drums, a guy named Tim Marks on bass, mm -hmm. and Pat Buchanan on guitar. And that's that's it. And uh, of course, in the help of my, my friend Bruce Brimmer, is we we're partners on the record, and we became friends, and um, and he liked the idea, and, and um, so uh, we we co-produced this thing, and and. Uh, had a blast doing it. Excellent. Well, Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Gang uh, hold a tender and nostalgic place in my heart, I'm sure, in the hearts of many others. So, yeah. we want to hear some music. I, I'm going to just go <laughs> straight for the, 
or my favorite one in my uh, band, 18 South, we play this song too. It's called Don't Take No Blanket. It's, it's actually Linus' song. Aw, All Linus. right, here we go. Thank you. One, two, three. Don't take my blanket, I will get cold. Don't take my blanket, yeah, you know I'm too old. Don't take my blanket, it's all that I need. Don't take my blanket away from me. I feel the stairs when I walk into the room. The kids in my class treat me like I am too I can't count the nasty rumors I've heard My addiction has become so absurd Don't take my blanket, I will get cold Don't take my blanket, yeah, you know I'm too old Don't take my blanket, it's all that I need don't take my blanket away from me well, I am a natural born leader, I swear I've accepted that I'm losing my hair Sally Brown still thinks that I hung the moon I'll have an Ivy League diploma real soon don't take my blanket, I will get cold Don't take my blanket, yeah, you know I'm too old Don't take my blanket, it's all that I need Don't take my blanket away from me I'm gonna have to let it go In time it will fade away But until that day Don't take my blanket I will get cold Don't take my blanket yeah, You know I'm too old Don't take my blanket It's all that I need don't take my blanket away from me yeah. Don't take my blanket, I will get cold Don't take my blanket, yeah, you know I'm too old Don't take my blanket, it's all that I need Don't take my blanket That's it <laughs> Thank you. That's, Linus is such a gentle character, isn't he? Is. he? He's so sweet. He is. That's why his song had to be a little bit. <laughs> yeah. A little bit rock. It's him, like, and what? You know, like, <laughs> I got yeah. my blanket. And? <laughs> right, yeah. Aw, that, that was really cool. Um, I can't help but think, or just want to ask, um, especially with your amazing piano playing, and then thinking about uh, the incredible score and original music uh, by Vince Guaraldi. Oh, yeah. Um, did that have any influence uh, on on your creation of it, this it album? Did. It did. It did. Especially for that song, that was kind of like what the the solo section mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of, the, of the song was meant to be more like, you know, 
uh, a Vince Guaraldi appearance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he was here that charred me channeling Vince <laughs> Yeah, Guaraldi, absolutely. But, but, no, um, I felt it. <laughs> yeah, and, and cool. Cool, thanks. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, of course, it's harder to do when you're, well, when it's just me and the piano, but but I think we captured it on the on the record. And, yeah. You know, and, Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Love uh, great. Yeah, yeah. He added a lot, uh, just even just to the jazz world with what yeah. he did for an animated uh, show. It's amazing. Yeah, those yeah. recordings, um, the way they sound, you, you, you can listen to, and I know, oh wow, that's I know that's been, yeah, you know, because I can I can recognize the way that it was recorded in, in the, his voicings. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But anyway, really nice. Yeah. Uh, and now, so I think you're going to treat us to a very special. All right. Tribute to Schroeder, Schroeder, yes. <laughs> who so we spoke of a bit before. This was this was actually the first song that I came up with, and um, um, yeah, I, I, I like it. Let's do it. All right. Charlie's a little bit strange He wears the same clothes every day This crazy girl named Lucy won't leave me alone She's so condescending I don't appreciate her tone like I'm stuck in some silly cartoon At least I have my tiny piano So I can compose a new tune So I'm thinking about my home And how I can't understand when I answer the phone And I'm thinking about my life And how something just don't feel right so I'm singing this song while thinking about leaving I'm thinking about leaving It feels like my parents are never around Maybe it's better this way Cause all they do is bring me down Why are the seasons here such a big deal? Every day feels like I'm trapped in a sequel And some of the characters are real So I'm thinking about my home And how I can't understand when I answer the phone And I'm thinking about and how something just don't feel right So I'm singing this song while thinking about leaving Thinking about leaving So I'm thinking about my home And how I can't understand when I am and I'm thinking about my life And how something just don't feel right So I'm singing this song while thinking about leaving But I'm thinking about leaving I'm thinking about leaving All right. <laughs> the life of Schroeder. Yeah. 
the youngest uh, fan of Beethoven, probably. Right, right, right. <laughs> At least in cartoon history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a child prodigy, I that one, so. possibly. I guess that's, that's what they were going for. Yeah, right? Yeah, he was, he was too big for that town already, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I recently learned uh, one of the lesser known characters, a character named Franklin, who doesn't sort of jump into your memory like Snoopy and Charlie Brown and Linus. Right, right. Um, I was, uh, read up on that a little bit, I was really happy to see that you had a, a song about him. And oh yeah. Yeah. So Franklin. what what brought you to Franklin? Well, um, I, after I researched him a little bit, you know, his character was kind of introduced during the, the uh, either the, the, sort of the end of the civil rights movement, but, but uh, I knew that Schultz had actually uh, received some pretty nasty letters mm -hmm. um, about about that for some reason, and, and you know, and I think um, for me it was just like, well, who is this guy? You know, and, mm -hmm. and what's the, the the purpose of his character? And and I think it was just to, to add a, you know, have somebody different where they could guess, you know, who is this guy? You know, mm -hmm. what's, you keep it a mystery, and you um, know. And I guess from Schultz, you know, he grew up in, in Minnesota, St. Mm -hmm. Paul, and I don't think, I'm not, you know, I don't know, I wasn't around, but but uh, I'm not sure if segregation was was that uh, profound there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to him, it was just another, you know, another dude, yeah. you know, another character. Another, yeah. Uh, a black or white thing, but um, uh, we had fun with this one. Yeah. And, um, Excellent. So... Good, we're representing Frank. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when we recorded this, my whole thing was to sort of have a kind of Al Green feel for it. Nice. So that was the inspiration musically for this. Cool. best for me to stay the least when I am at school. I let the curiosities run wild while I play it cool. Well, yeah, they say, Franklin, where did you come from? How did you get here? And what's your last name? They say, Franklin, tell us your story. Do you have a girlfriend that teaches your game? It gets too cold up here, and all the kids are terribly strange. Oh, yeah. But they are nice to me, and no one's leave racially deranged. No. I'm on the baseball team and I made friends all over town. Yeah. And at the dances, me and Pink Pin always shake it on down. Oh yeah, they say Franklin, where did you come from? How did you get here? What's your last name? St. Franklin, tell us your story. Do you have a girlfriend? Teach us your game. One day I open up my heart and be the best friend I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or now I'm having so much fun. Yeah, me and the mystery man. Your last name, they say Franklin. 
tell us your story Do you have a girlfriend? Teach us your game I said Franklin, where did you come from? How did you get here? What's your last name? They say Franklin, tell us your story Do you have a girlfriend? Teach us your game Yeah, <laughs> Franklin, the mystery man. Yeah, like, that's a fun one. <laughs> it is fun. That was a great groove to it. Thanks. I'm glad to see that Franklin is represented too. Yes. There's so many little characters that just uh, I I had sort of either forgotten about or you know just ones that made little special appearances. Right, and, right, yeah. Right. And it's it's such a rich array of characters. I yeah. think uh, Charles Schulz really did a lot. You know, kept it really realistic actually and, and honest I think with yeah, these kids. I think so too. Yeah. I, I mean everybody can, can identify with it, totally the characters. Totally. I think that's why it's, it's lasted so long. It's been so relevant, you know, yeah. it, in how five decades? Right, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. I really know. I wonder when the first I think the I think it was in the fifties was the comic strip. This and comic then, yeah, strip yeah. And then the T V show I think. Yeah, that just took the, off to sixties yeah. whole other level. Uh, now, so one of those characters would be the little red-headed girl. Oh, that's right. Aw, Charlie Brown's crush. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's the, the Charlie Brown, man. <laughs> um, yeah, if you, uh, if you watch the, you know, at least on the TV shows, you know, I don't, I'm not sure about the comic strips. Mm -hmm. but yeah, he had a crush. He had a thing for the little red-headed girl Aww. who was not a main character. She's just exactly. kind of one of the, the, um. Uh, many, you know, side characters, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, that was my angle on that tune. Was for Charlie was kind of make a love triangle thing, you know. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're, dun, dun, you know, dun. he he he, um, you know, he has this this uh, desire to impress this little redhead girl, and, mm -hmm. and it never happens for him. Aww. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sure many can relate to that as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, so, that's just part of it. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is, uh, I'll, I'll play it for you. Excellent. This is the more rock song, so Ooh. bear with me here. <laughs> um, <dude. Head girl across the room is all I see Frozen in my adoration and insecurity I will try to speak my heart's intent Tell her that she's heaven sent Bring her to the football game where I'll have victory All the children in my class will hope that I will fall Time she will be mine. I'm gonna show them all. Until tonight, I'm holding in. She'll look at me and see nothing. Turn around with all her friends and just walk out the door. But she don't notice me. Wanting to make her happy. To me, I'm on the field. The time has come to fill my destiny. I feel the heat from the stadium lights as the roaring crowd intensifies. The coaches put me in the kick of football for our team. I see the snap to Lucy's hands, and she looks back at me. An evil grin brews on her face. I'm shocked with disbelief. 
And since the eyes are on me now, this play can win the game. Cross my leg with all my might as she pulls the ball away. But she don't know that it's me. to that feeling, you know, not Thanks. just for Charlie Brown and, and the Peanuts characters, but just that universal experience of the unrequited love, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <It's> emotional. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's true, or you know? dramatic. Yeah, no, but that, that was really cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So from the lesser-known little red-headed girl to the very well-known Lucy. Okay, yes. Yeah, Lucy. She's yeah. she's quite complex, actually. She is. <laughs> she's got a lot going on that one. We, we all know a Lucy in her life. Oh, we've all known a Lucy. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, it was funny that I had the the title from this song. Um, I have a this a high school friend, and um, she was in town in Nashville, and I was telling her about this record I'm working on, and mm -hmm. we were talking about Lucy, and she said we were at dinner, and she was like, well, you know, she she's just so misunderstood. And Aww. I was like, that's it. It's the title. Yeah, that's there it. we go. You know, Gotta go. Write a song. Something to, <laughs> yeah. to go on. And, um, and that's the title of her song. Very cool. So I'll see if I can play it for you. All right. Thank you. Get to know me, I can be cool, I can be nice. All the girls want to overthrow me, the beauty I have comes with a price. So I go on with my everyday presentation of who I think I am supposed to be so they won't see me well I am surrounded hopelessly drowning in the sea of mediocrity well I still have feelings I chose I could I'm just a little misunderstood La 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 la, la. He plays his piano I Go to a place where I blush inside He don't know what I know Desires more important than mine. So I go on pretending that there's nothing in this whole wide world that can break my stride. It's gonna be a beautiful ride. Well, I am surrounded, hopelessly drowned. 
my name in this sea of mediocrity but I still have feelings I'd show if I could I'm just a little misunderstood yeah la 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 misunderstood la 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 it's gonna be a beautiful ride Drowning in the sea of mediocrity, but I still have feelings I'd show if I could. I'm just a little misunderstood. I am surrounded, hopelessly drowning in the sea of mediocrity. Feelings I show if I could. I'm just a little misunderstood. La 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 la. Misunderstood. it would be hard to sympathize with Lucy because she was just kind of a bully and right, pulling right. the football away and calling him blockhead and, you know, socking her brother all the time. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you know, but um, as in life, you know, you scratch the bully and you're going to find someone who's yeah, probably exactly. just as damaged and insecure as everybody that's, else. That's exactly what it is. Putting was, up a front. She was covering, covering something up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, you communicated that really beautifully. <laughs> it was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, tell me about Dance With Me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, this is probably one of my favorite songs on the record. Um, it's, uh, it's about Pigpen. <clears throat> and I guess I have this vision of a Pigpen, you know, dancing in the corner with the dust of crying, you know, <laughs> dirt on him, and, and no one wants to dance with him. <laughs> and, uh, and I wrote the song, and it kind of had a musical... Um, Influenced by Prince, nice kind of you know. Okay, and and, and, and um, I was like, man, it'd be fun just to to uh, have a fun song and and find him a chick that you know um, wants to dance with him. Yeah, and 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 of course in the story, and and um, him and Charlie Brown are, are pretty tight. You mm -hmm. know? And um, so uh, I, I kind of mentioned that in the song. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll give it a whirl for you. Cool. Thanks. Here we go. You may think I have a problem with my personal hygiene. But it's not my fault that there's a cloud of dust that follows me Even though I take a bath, I step outside, it comes right back People, don't you judge me, I look dirty, but I swear I'm clean Oh, there's a curse on me, yeah Oh, listen to me, hey now Charlie Brown, can you help me find a girl who wants to dance with me? It brings me down I just found a girl who wants to dance with me la da 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 So I showed up to the school Danced by myself in dirty pants Once I heard the music play All my worries went away Proving 
to that funk is long Marvin Gaye's let's get it on Suddenly I realize that everyone was watching me Oh, I must be dancing, sweet yeah. Oh, listen to me, hey now Charlie Brown Help me find a girl who wants to dance with me This town this brings me down Can you help me find a girl who wants to dance with me Dancing over to me Oh, my eyes don't bleed When my eyes are seeing She wants to dance with me Oh, listen to me Hey now, Charlie Brown Well, I just found a girl Who wants to dance with me Yeah, this town It's turning around I just found a girl who wants to dance with me Oh, hey now, Charlie Brown well, I just found a girl who wants to dance with me well, This town, well it's turning around I finally found a girl who wants to dance with me Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys there's like a, a call, an answer call thing. You know, hey, now, hey, now, oh, Charlie we'll do Brown. It again? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know if I can do it again. I might, might kill over. <laughs> oh, very cool. Well, um, we've so enjoyed the set of songs tonight. Oh, thank it's you. It's very cool. And there's just a, um, <clears throat> you've really, I think, preserved the that charm and innocence of the, the Peanuts characters, you know, just that, that sweetness that you feel when you see the cartoons or read a comic strip or see the characters on a t-shirt or, you know, all oh, the cool. many ways that you see it. And um, I think you've really represented that and, and kept that spirit. So well, that's thank really you, cool. thank you. That's what, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, well, now, is that the CD? That yes. is the CD. Excellent. We want everyone to know that you can get Jimmy Wallace's Working for Peanuts. It is available on iTunes, Amazon MP3, Bandcamp, and Jimmy's shows with 18 South, his, his own band. That's right. Yes. yes. And uh, when you see 18 South, make sure to listen for Don't Take My Blanket. Yeah, we, we do that. We do Franklin as well. So oh, awesome. It's, crowd pleasers, it's, it's I'm sure. Yes, crowd pleasers, Very sure. cool. Very cool. Uh, you can also find him out with uh, Gavin DeGraw, Train, and Maroon 5 on tour right now. Also, keep posted on his band 18 South. Is there a website uh, that they can check um, out to keep there posted is. on we have a um, We have a Facebook, which is, you know, www.facebook forward slash 18 South. And then same with MySpace. It's up with MySpace's 18 South Band. Okay. So if you do a search for 18 South, you'll you'll find cool. something on us. And maybe you guys can come back here and do another oh, Studio City Sound Live. That would be great. Yeah. Very be cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us thank tonight. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, Enjoy our it. pleasure. And thank you all for being with us tonight from Studio City Sound Live. I'm Chanel Adriana, and friends, and Jimmy Wallace. Thanks for being with us. <laughs>